Welcome to Kingsbourne by David Wilson and this house type is the Bradgate. It certainly is. Four beds attached. Yes, by David Wilson Holmes. And it's a larger four bed. Yes. Um, family home. Right. So we're in the lovely hall. Feels a bit mature I, this I house. I like the wallpaper. One thing I would say, there's a bit of a funny smell. Nah, uh, that's the smell. It, it smells like putty. It's a woodland smell. Do you think? Yeah. It's, it's right. It's a plug-in. Look at that, a little triangle cupboard. <laughs> Very nice. Right, let's start in the study then, Steve. Some dimensions. Study, 2 metres 76 by... Have a little look at this hallway a little bit. 2 metres 7. There we go. There we go. Nice little study, but nice bay in it as well, look. Nice. Very nice, isn't it? Across this way, we've got the lounge. We are to plan as well, I'm very glad to uh, to report. Right, lounge, 4 metres 99 by 3 metres 65. We've got two windows in here. You've got the um, the bay window at the front there, and there's a little window at the side for a bit of extra light, which is very nice. So we've got two good-sized sofas yeah. in here. It's actually surprisingly big lounge. Yeah, and a TV which is always good to see because often you don't see oh, that's a big TV a real time real size TV in show homes but everyone's got one haven't they yeah. and it's good to be able to see where that TV would go right back here oh that's your, uh, your downstairs cloakroom you could fit two in if you yeah. wanted a separate washer you and a dryer. Space. Lots of people do. I think you've got the boiler there with a bit of over uh, eye line cupboards there. What do people prefer? Do people prefer an all-in-one washer dryer, in which case you only need one space, or do, do people like separate? Personally, we've got both, haven't we? We've got a separate tumble dryer and a washing machine because my reasoning is if one of them breaks down, you've still got the other one, you've only got to buy one appliance rather than lose everything in one go. So they've got a microwave in here, it just keeps all, all the clutter out of the kitchen, you've got room for your washing baskets, etc. So let us know what you think about the washer dryer thing. 
Right, you've got the back door there, which kind of takes you out to the side of the house, and then you go up then to the back garden. this room. There's a door here, Steve, behind the door. I will close it. Yep, just a storage cupboard, the cupboard there, guys. Look, just my bus size goes around that corner. So could you put your vacuum in there? Yeah, yes, I could. I mean, that's for coats, wellies, etc., isn't it, in there? Very nice. Right, let's take a look upstairs. Okay, so we are to plan on this one. So let's start around this side, because we've got bedroom two over here, Steve. Colours. I like this very much. We've got built-in wardrobe there, look. Yeah. Which will probably be an upgrade, but very nice if you can uh, if you can get them. Right, three meters eighty-eight by three meters seventy-one in here, so a good size double bedroom. Could fit a bigger bed in if you wanted. cylinder tank in there. Okay. Yeah. So then at the rear then, you've got bedroom four. So here you are above the family area of the kitchen. Bedroom four dimensions three meters eleven by three meters thirty five. Again you've got for those built in wardrobes. Beautifully styled. Your main bathroom here, right in the middle there. Dimensions are 2 metres 12 by 1 metre 7. So, the other side, so you're above the kitchen, bedroom 3. Again, built in wardrobes on a sort of darker, darker sort of oak look about them. Dimensions are 3 metres 32 by 3 metres 26. Now yeah, the darker wood and the, the darker glass on the wardrobes gives this room a, a slightly darker feel. And the window is off centre, isn't it? So let me and give it's you not a very big window. So let me give you some... Um, so we've got a book there, a few things here. We've got a book down there that says Reese Heath on it. Um, and we've got some tractors, etc. And that's oh, yeah. actually what this area is known again for. There's a big agricultural college, um, <coughs> literally cool. just up the road called Reese Heath, mm. um, where a lot of budding people learn horticultural skills, etc. And farming and things, yeah. So last but not least, then we've got bedroom one, which has got its own ensuite. So dimensions: three meters eighty-eight by three meters seventy-six. So they've got a bank of fitted wardrobes in here, which is some super storage. Very, very nice. I would say that's a, a king size, possibly. You could fit a much bigger bed. If you like a super king, like we do, you could fit that in here, no bother. Nice little dressing area there. And okay. it's got so we've got these wardrobes, glass. Um, yeah. mirrored wardrobes there and you've got two windows in here yeah. small window there at the side and a, a slightly bigger one there at the front and then you've got the uh, beautiful ensuite there with a big shower well there we go mm. so this is the Bradgate yeah, the Four bed by David Wilson, mm -hmm. and we are in Kingsbourne in Nantwich in Cheshire. Kingsbourne Village. Kingsbourne Village. Yes, in Nantwich in Cheshire. Great house yeah. though. And know? there will be something like 600 new homes on oh this yeah, site eventually. It's going to be under construction for at least the next six years, have I got that right? Yeah. Six years. Yeah, so plenty of opportunity to come and purchase a home on here. There's a lot going on. Um, anyway, we hope you liked these videos. Please script the... Click the subscribe button.
so that you get a notification every time we put on a new video, which is every week. And also, throw us a like on the uh, on 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 there as well. Likes um, help the YouTube app, the YouTube algorithm, yeah, which is important to us. And it's important because we we like to know that you like what we what yeah. we put out there. So put your comments in the box down below because we always like to hear what you think about the houses. All of this information that I've got on the plan here will be in the description box down below if you wanted any further information, along with um, a link back to David Wilson's own website, so yeah. you can just click that and you're straight there. If you've got any information about availability, prices, etc., it's always best to ask them directly. Thank you for watching then. Thank you very much, and we'll catch you on our next video. Bye.